see him. Whoa! One of the blobs just split in two! Now he has double attack power! Pardon, TJ. Might I see the blobs? Hang on, Meister. I just gotta see one thing. Ah, uh, the life cycle of the common bacterium. I remember my first view of a single-celled microorganism. This is so cool! Bacteriums rock! Gosh, TJ, I really would like to see the little blob. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses, big guy. I'll be done in a... Huh? Second? Thank you, TJ. Wow, they're beautiful. Like tiny balloons caressed by the breeze. Care to peer into their world, Gretchen? Through an underpowered school scope? No, thank you, Bucky. I'm already extremely familiar with germs. Did you say germs? I thought Teach called them bacteriums. He was right, Gus. Germs and bacteria, the correct pluralization of bacterium, are the same thing. They are? <laughs> Relax, Gus. Those things are harmless. Harmless? Don't you watch TV, man? Germs are harmless. They're little scary creatures that cause decay and disease. Ah, you must have seen that probing 12-hour special about microorganisms on the Science Channel. No, but I've seen mouthwash commercials. Well, I don't think these things are going to hurt anyone. They're between two microscope slides. Yeah, sure. I guess you're right. We're probably safe as long as they're trapped under there. Trapped? Don't worry, little ones. I'll get you out of there. Are you nuts? Don't let those things loose in here. But the germs are living creatures, Gus. They should be as free to dance and frisk about as you and I. Don't you dare let those things out around me. Now, Gus, there's really no reason to worry about the few germs on that slide. The truth of the matter is there are billions of germs everywhere. Um, um, um. Scritch, not helping. In fact, there are billions of germs living on your very skin right now. My skin? I wonder where Gus went to. Probably home. Those germs really freaked him out. My little friends wouldn't hurt anyone. That's why I'll give them gentle names. You're Hattie, you're Cecil, and you're Joshua. And you're dented. Wait a sec. I've got a hunch. Excuse me, ladies. Get clean. Get clean. I think Gustav's gonna need a little more time with this whole germs all over his skin thing. Who's ready for some Bebo? I am! Let's do I'm it! I'm ready! No thank you, TJ. I promised my three tiny friends that I'd show them around the playground. Maybe I'll take my slide on the slide. I get the feeling Gus isn't the only kid around here with germ issues. Where is Gus anyway? Hi, guys! Gus? Is that you? What's with the funky raincoat, man? It's a biological hazard suit. In here, I'm completely protected from any and all foreign germs. Gus, don't you think you're overreacting a bit? I mean, you can't even see germs. That's my point! Think of me anywhere! Do you know where that ball has been? What kid has sneezed on it? Or worse? <laughs> here, Vince, catch! Guys, guys, allow me to clear up a few misconceptions. There's no reason to... <sighs> Sorry, as I was saying... <sighs> Excuse me, I, I think I need to see the nurse. Suddenly, I, I'm not feeling so well. See? Those hideous germs got grudgy. Come on, Gus. Why don't you forget all this germ junk, take off that futuristic getup, and come play some b-ball? No can too, Teach. I won't rest until my fellow students are safe from this vicious, unchecked menace. If you'll excuse me, I must spread the word. So, like, I'm all as if, and she's all totally. Good morning, girls. I'd like to speak to you today about germ. Ew, you are a germ. Ashley, scatter! What's all this, Gus? Having a little trouble getting your message of impending doom out to the people? I'll say, no one wants to face this problem head on. What you need is a good propaganda machine. Or in this case, a photocopy machine. Where am I going to get one of those? I believe I have access to one. But I'll need one of those nifty suits in return. 22 slim if they've got it. Here you go, Menlo. 22 slim. Ah, clean and pressed, unlike germs. Here, this should prove a more efficient way of getting our message out to those less inclined to accept it. Ugh, gross! What, what is that? It was a kid's toe, until germs had their way with it. Boy, if kids on the playground saw that picture, they'd really understand what I'm talking about. Indeed. Follow me. Push the button, Gus, and bring your dreams to life! We must take action before it's too late. We must eliminate germs from our classroom, our pavement, and from our play apparatus. Stop the germs! Stop the germs! Stop you know, I hate 
to admit it, but Gus is starting to make a little sense. Yeah, you see that picture he got off the internet? That was nasty. I say let's kick some germ butt. Excuse me, Spinelli, but it's time someone spoke up for those who cannot speak. When these germs have been eliminated, we will leave the childhood of our dreams. Do you hear me? We will live our dreams. Live our dreams. Live our dreams. Hello, third streeters. I'd like to say just a few words to you on behalf of our willowy friends, the germs. Did he say the germs were our friends? Get off the stage, germ friender! Ah, but you'd like germs too if you got to know them. I mean, what have they ever done to you? Try asking Gretchen Grumler! Oh wait, you can't! She's home sick! She's home sick! Wait, She's you're sick. making a terrible mistake! What a sight. It does an old heart good. Phew. Hey, how do we know when we've gotten rid of all the germs? That's easy, Vince. We'll know when we, um, you know, um, I have no idea. Good news, Gus. The petition I filed with the city was approved. Disinfectant trucks should arrive within the hour. Operation Sterile Thunder is go! Excellent. First, we disinfect the Third Street Playground, and then we'll disinfect the world! <laughs> Attention, please. All children must evacuate the area immediately. Disinfect and spraying will only begin when the area is clear. Germs! Germs! Go away! We don't want you! Spray, spray, spray! Excuse me, mister. You got a cool truck and all, but how long before we can go back out and play? State says you gotta wait three days. This spray is tough on fabric and unprotected skin. Fight down! You saw those flyers. If it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Time to make my play. Easy there, Junior. It's a crazy rule, but we can't start spraying till every last kid is off the playground. Him again? Ugh! Mikey, you're holding on to germification. Get out of the way! In the immortal words of Mahatma Gandhi, make me. Uh, Mikey, you can't sit there forever. We'll never abandon our germ friends. Isn't that right, H, C, J, and whoever else you may have divided into? Uh Mikey, do you have any idea how dumb you look talking to that slide? And I suppose wearing that goofy plastic suit makes you look brilliant? Give me those germs, Mikey! Ow! Mikey! <laughs> no! Oh, 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 oh. Look what you've done, Patty, Cecil! Dear sweet Joshua, speak to me! Gee, Mikey, I didn't mean to. I mean, I... Oh, this is exactly what you meant to do. And why? Just because the germs are smaller than you? That's no reason to destroy them. Think about it. I'm way bigger. Should I destroy you? <gasps> are you insane? I can't get a runny nose. Or malaria. Give me back my mask. It isn't safe. Only if you call up your germ squad. Never. you're here. Gus has gone crazy. He's trying to kill all our beautiful bacteria. Tell him to stop. No, tell him germs made you sick. Now we really must disinfect the world. Actually, what I'd like to say is you're both behaving ridiculously. Huh? huh? But what about the beauty of all living things? And your horrible germy disease. Yes, it's true. Germs made me sick. See? But the fact that I caught a cold doesn't mean you should disinfect the world. Germs are everywhere and you've got to learn to live with them. See? And Mikey, you've got to stop acting as if bacteria were your pets. They're single-celled organisms without legs or eyes or even a brain. I, uh, kind of knew that. But germs made you sick as a dog. That's just plain bad. And they made me healthy again, too. Uh, you lost me. With something called antibiotics, which are essentially bacteria that help the body fight illness. Really? Germs aren't bad or good. They're simply a part of life. Some are harmful, but others are used to make medicine, yogurt, even cheese. I love cheese! So do I. Gus, I guess I got a little carried away. Not as far away as me, buddy. Friends? I guess that's a yes! Third Streeters, please disregard all I have said about germs and come out here and play! Used to make cheese. Boy, you learn something new every day, huh, Bart?